Rock out, everybody. What's happening? This is a great day. It's a great day. I got something new. I want you guys to see it. We're going to talk about something. Uh, of course, all my videos are for beginners because I want you guys to know what's going on. Okay. All right. So today, if you see what's in my hand, this is called a Trekker base. All right. Not too many of these bases are seen around town. Not in my part, of, not on the East Coast. All right, so this is a very unique looking base. If you can see it, it's a Trekker. So it has EMGs, has the EMG um, preamp in it. It's maple on maple. Um, the most unique thing about this base is, <laughs> well, there's a whole lot of things unique about it. The bridge is unique. That's the Kayla Bridge. I don't think it's a Kayla Bridge. I think it is. Yeah, something like that. All right, so, and then if you look at it, it says Trekker. All right, the most unique thing about it is that right there. See that headstock? It's called a floating neck or a floating headstock. So basically, the headstock is not glued to the neck, all right? It's not even on the neck. I mean, it's on the neck, but it's really not on the neck. Okay, anywho... Is you know it has a steel rod that runs down the middle, and the neck, the headstock itself has a little uh, pinion bolt right there. You take that out, and the whole neck, the whole headstock will come right off the base. It's the most unique thing, but the greatest thing about it um, is the playability of it. Once you once you get it set up right, it's amazing base, all right? But that's the that's the issue, the set that up thing, all right? I would personally change the bridge. Um, I think the bridge is cool, and once you get it set, it's there for life. But the problem is, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm not crazy about the bridge. I'm crazy about the base, though. It's a bolt-on, four bolts. Right in the back of the neck is the adjustment, right? And it works sort of like the old Fender Jazzes when they had it, you know, had the hole in the back and you could stick something in it. A tunic, uh, put a, uh, a hex book, uh, whatever it is, you know. Oh, what do you put in it? Huh? A what? An Allen wrench. All right. For this, you need an Allen wrench. For the old ones, you needed a screwdriver. For the old fenders, you need a screwdriver. But for this, you need a thank you hand. You need an Allen wrench, and it it actually tilts the, not the neck, it tilts the headstock. <laughs> it will do that to the neck. But it tilts the headstock front and back like this, like a cobra. So it floats. It ain't even on the neck. It just floats. Anyway, anywho, let's keep on going. All right, so it has EMGs, um, D40s, DC40s in it. And I'm going to tell you all right now. I'm going to turn it all the way off. Let's go to the rear first. And, and then the preamp is, well, I would say the preamp is off. I'd say the trouble is off, the bass is off. Let's hear that sound. We had the rear pickup. So I'm coming through my Aguilar 112, the GS series. GS, baby. Coming through my uh, World Tour 800 too. The soap bar pickups is that they're so broad sounding. And the EMGs, when you get into the DC series, wow, man, it's it's like it's that sound, man. It's that it's that sound. It's that sound. Okay, how you look at it, it's that sound. So as you as I'm going to detent on bass. Now the strings are laying right on the neck. You know how I play on the neck. And I don't play really hard. Woo! 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 Sweet. All right, so let's take the trouble and put the trouble in D10. I mean, clean, ballsy, bowsy. 
real ballsy. Very broad sounding, very wide sounding. Very, very wide sounding, very unique, very distinct, very in your face. And it didn't place else they wanted to go. It's just that clean. All right, so we're gonna turn the trouble all the way up and let's see what we got. She's a nasty little girl. Right? So let's turn the bass all the way up. So everything is wide open now. And on the inside of the bass, it has two little switches. Because you know how EMGs have those two little switches on it? It's two little notches switches like turn up, turn down, flip up, flip down. It turns like up and turns it down and stuff like that. Make it louder, make it softer. I don't know. I just like it. But anyway, the bass sounds great. And and the the neck is more like a like a a, a P Deluxe. Like a, a Fender P Deluxe bass. Um from the early uh 2000, 1998, 2000, stuff like that. It has that kind of feel. Simple little flatter. I mean but the bottom. And the top is even. Yeah, how clean it is. I mean, it's there, man. It's like, ah! <laughs> it's like, ah! It's there, baby. It's there. take her out. I just got her in yesterday. Been working on it for a whole day to make sure I get her set up right. She feels good. She already been through the Hobo Depot. She feels good. She's nice and clean. You smell good too, girl. Sweet. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, you know, I never own a Trekker base. And this came in the shop and it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, you know, you always see stuff like, I think the first person I saw with one was um, Abraham Labrell. And then after that, I saw Lewis Johnson had a Trekker bass. And it, I'm going to tell you, if, if you ever get a chance to play one, it's extraordinary, man. It's like you're looking at the headstock, but the headstock, it's not even, I don't know, it's floating. It's not, it's not connected. It's like you look at it and go like, that's kind of freaky. But good at the same time. I like this, man. I like this bass. So I'm thinking about using it on on um, a concert Sunday I'm, I'm doing. A gospel concert at the church. So I figure with all the booty this thing got, she might be doing something. I mean, listen to that beat, though. That's the beat. Nasty girl, you nasty. But I love you anyway. Shut up, Kaka! Johnny Long. Peace out.